another New York City weekend in my life vlog. Right now it is Friday and I'm on West Broadway. I'm walking to a hair appointment, but we have so much to catch up on. <laughs> so much to catch up on right now. But right now I'm just gonna go to my hair appointment. but they're from Dolce Vita. <laughs> the next day now I have just woken up literally I put on an outfit because I'm going to go to Equinox later so last night was fun just having tacos at my friend Lisa's apartment and our other friend Jesse so we just made tacos we watched Mean Girls and then we watched We're the Millers and then we went to the little cupcake bake shop and got a key lime pie and then that, that was it just came back here um, which you would have all just seen in the clips. So now as I'm getting ready We're just going to catch up on all the things that we need to catch up on So I actually had to write this down so that I don't forget because I'm like every time I thought of these things It's like oh, I need to talk to my to my channel about this so okay threads so this week or it was two days ago Thursday the day before yesterday Instagram released threads. So it's basically like the new Twitter. I signed up for it. So if you guys um, Didn't already go follow me over there. Go follow me over on threads. It's the same thing um, It's just the fashion squirrel So I'm curious to see how that plays out I'm always a little bit hesitant with new apps. I'm not usually like a really quick adopter of things like that but if you guys like it and you want to see stuff over there i'll definitely post personally i kind of feel like the last thing that we need right now is another app but yeah um it's there if you guys are are interested oh and just like that the new season so i'm actually a fan of season two so this is this being the Sex in the City reboot. I know there were so many mixed reviews about season one, and I kind of felt similarly about it. But I think going into season two, we know what to expect now, and I feel like it's getting better. And I'm actually really enjoying watching it on Thursdays. So there's that. So yesterday, as you guys know, I went to the hair salon. This was my first time going uh, since having extensions. And I was really worried about how it was going to go just in terms of like making sure that nothing bad happens to the bonds where they like a chemical reacts with another chemical and they like sizzle off and 
something terrible happens, but nothing terrible happened. It was all all right. So that's the update on that. Um, okay, and then you might have noticed that we actually skipped a weekend. So I was a couple weeks ahead for the last few vlogs. And then now we're like, we're in real time. So the weekend that's happening right now is the second weekend in July. So when you're seeing this on Monday, I will have just been filming literally the day before because last weekend I it was the 4th of July. So I was in the Hamptons with, with Lyle's family and my family. Um, they were all together and it turned out to be a really nice weekend. So um, I shared everything on that on my Instagram, in my stories, and then I put it in two different posts, like a a feed post and then like a, a real so the whole recap of that weekend is there it turned out to be really lovely we did so many fun things um like playing pickleball and we went to the beach and we, um you know just did some like party fourth of july cooking all that stuff um so it turned out to be a really nice weekend but i didn't vlog and then the last thing i had to update you on is wedding dress shopping so i am going wedding dress shopping next weekend and i am going to one of the places my dream place kleinfeld um really just because i grew up watching say yes to the dress like everyone else and i cannot wait to go wedding dress shopping i'm taking my mom my future mother-in-law and my wild stepmom um so it should be a really nice day i cannot wait to go wedding dress shopping i'm really really been looking forward to it so i can't believe that it's already that time to start looking for wedding dresses um i will definitely share as much as i can and hopefully put together a video on that but that is happening next week and to hear when we were um, at lunch and I was talking to you just then. We went to Balthazar for lunch, which is a really classic New York spot. And it's right in Soho, right on Spring Street. And I we I walk past there like all the time, pretty much every single vlog. And I always see people sitting out there eating and I really wanted to go there. So we went and we sat outside and it was really nice. And so we did that. Also, prior to that this morning, I actually had a personal training session. So I signed up for a couple, like a pack of them, just to try to like get in shape for the wedding. Not that I think that, you know, it's really like a big need, but I just wanna feel good. Um, so yeah, I signed up, I, I took a, took one session today we went over nutrition and did some like stretching and like 
not really stretching but just like what I'm supposed to do before I come to the sessions right now I am about to leave in a couple minutes to go to Kendall's birthday so Kendall's birthday is actually later in July but with everyone going on vacation and stuff this month this was the weekend that worked out best so um, we're gonna go to City Vineyard which is right on the pier right on the water so I'm really excited for that and then afterwards we're going to go get dinner at so the place is called Casa Carmen so we're gonna go there for dinner afterwards and yeah I'm excited I've got my Ted Baker dress on I got Kendall a little candle as a gift from Diptyque I got her the bay candle which I can say because by the time this vlog goes up I'll already have given it to her <laughs> sorry if you can hear a lot of background music in the background there is a festival going on but yeah this is the dress I'm wearing that I wore to lunch and I'm just going to also wear to Kendall's birthday tonight it's from Ted Baker I really like it it's a purple and floral dress with some ruffle details and this like kind of halter neck but it's not like it's not a true halter because it still kind of comes together in the back like that and it's a nice kind of like mid-ish mid to mini-ish length and it's really cute so I'm just gonna basically pick out some shoes probably more comfortable ones because we're gonna be walking from the pier to the dinner spot and just grab my bag and go meet up with Kendall and some friends struggle bus a little bit this morning but I like this top though <laughs> I um I think because I was like woke up like uh from last night not you know st stayed out kind of late for Kendall's birthday but when I woke up this morning I was like oh I'm gonna put a cute little top on I'm gonna feel better I just got a croissant and an iced coffee that barely looks like coffee because I put so much cream into it but Kendall's birthday was really fun though we went to City Vineyard which has, as you would have seen in the clips, it's right on the pier, Pier 26, so it's right on the water, and you can see really great city views right there of the World Trade Center, and then New Jersey on the other side. So we were there, we got a charcuterie board, and then we went over to Casa Carmen, 
which was also very good. We, it was just a little 10 minute walk across over in Tribeca and we had guac and tacos and an enchilada and we just celebrated Kendall for her birthday. And then um, we also then walked over right around the corner there's a place called Holy Water, and it was sort of downstairs, and it looked like a boat inside. And we had another drink there, and then I came home, and that's why this morning I am now eating a croissant and all the carbs because my stomach is like, um, you need to put, <laughs> you need to eat something right now. Um, yeah, um, usually I really like, as you guys probably know on my channel, I really don't drink that much, but if it's a friend's birthday, I try to like, you know, go all out for them my friend duties <laughs> when I left this morning to go pick up the croissant and I realized that my tag for these pants was like I don't know why but I went like this and I realized that the tag was still in these pants and I was like oh no and it was one of those ones where like it's sort of like a fabricy one where you can't just pull it off like the plastic tags <laughs> so I was like oh no I just stuffed it into my pants like this and I was like hope nobody notices <laughs> so these are the shorts <laughs> By the way, I got them from Zara two days ago, and I like them because they're like a tailored short, and they have the belt loops. They came with a belt, this one. It is a neutral color with gold hardware. I didn't think that it looked, that the belt looked right with this top that I paired it with today, but yeah, anyways, I like these shorts. I think there's a trend going on right now that is very, that whole quiet luxury sort of a thing, Sophia Ritchie. I really, I like, I like it I mean it's kind of funny that it's named that but I do like that style in general so I like that these shorts are a little less like cut off booty shorts <laughs> but they're more of like a tailored um, you know smarter kind of short as the British people would say I love watching British youtubers um, I love I love them I love like anyways I'm rambling okay and then another thing that I wanted to show you that I just got and by the way I shared these on my stories this week on my Instagram short stories I've been trying to share a lot of my newer purchases on my Instagram stories because when things go on sale or things go out of stock quickly posting them on my Instagram stories means that you can get to them before the YouTube video goes live which could be days later and by then maybe it's sold out or the sale is over so um, if you're not already following on there I have been posting more frequently on my Instagram stories and then once the stories are gone because it's only 24 hours I put them I save them on my highlights so it'll say like May links June links July links um, so if in case anything is still in stock but these were one of them and these are a pair of loafer mules from River Island I love them because they're a neutral tone they have the um, kind of like gold buckle here they I like that they're closed toe if you need more closed toed shoes for work or just in general if you don't want to be walking around with open toed shoes like New York City for example is definitely a closed toed shoe city because the streets are so dirty so it's nicer to walk around in something closed toed so um, I think that these are perfect these are also great for traveling too if you're at an airport going through security you can more easily slip these on and off rather than retying your sneakers or whatever and they look a little bit more elevated and they're super affordable and they're comfortable like they're squishy almost like I feel like I could definitely wear these on a travel day I could wear them to work in any um in any season and this top by the way is from free people i know it's a little bit crazy i put it on this morning and i walked over to lyle was like tell me do i look like a clown he was like no um but i think that it's really cute it's like a ballerina top it's technically a bodysuit so it's like fitted i think it's great if, especially if you're going to tuck it into shorts or pants or a skirt but i love these sleeves it's like these floral um, details roughly okay and then last thing we need to talk about I just remembered is this skirt this is from and other stories and it is a fitted midi length skirt with a slit here it is on I think that this is so cute I actually even like it with this top I wasn't even sure if it was gonna look good with this top but I'm into it because I think because it's the bodysuit it fits into it so seamlessly <laughs> 
but yeah I don't know guys I've been a little bit more into longer skirt lengths this year than in the past you know I used to love mini skirts and like those flowy little love shack fancy mini skirts but you know I'm tr I also like a little sophisticated kind of skirt too I like both there's times for that and then there's times for this and I feel like this you could wear to work you could wear to dinner you could wear walking around the park um, you can wear it going shopping in Soho I think that it's just really sophisticated oh sorry you can't see my head the like me fighter is so tight so far away but yeah I don't know it's just it gives off a different vibe than a mini skirt does. It gives off, I'm more mature, I'm more um, sophisticated, I'm, I'm not trying to you know, wear a tiny little skirt, I'm being a little bit more conservative, although it has got the slit. Um, but the slit really does not come up very high at all, and the skirt itself goes down to about mid-calf. So this is definitely not <clears throat> a short skirt by any means. And yeah. That's all. I went to CVS just to run a quick errand to pick up stuff that I needed. And while I'm out, I'm going to go down Elizabeth Street here and check out one of my favorite stores, Saison. They have such great clothing and bathing suits and all the inspo for European summer, which <laughs> I'm getting ready for. China, that's my thing right now that I need to get stuff for because I'm going to Paris in the south of France next month and uh, my heart just flutters thinking about it. So let's go into season. already have known this and seen all of this but for anyone that's not on Instagram I posted today the ask me a question story and you guys have been asking so many questions and I know that a lot of you guys might miss these stories or yeah you might just not see them so I figured that I would just share with you guys quickly what my answers were like very quick like rapid fire because we haven't really done a QA and a in a while and there are a lot of questions so I'm just going to really quickly share them with you okay favorite song at the moment now I'm in it by Haim Haim I don't know how to pronounce them but I'm really liking all their songs have you started wedding dress shopping yet next weekend where are you going on your honeymoon no idea right now but we like the idea of an African safari maybe but nothing is planned yet no solid plan do you, do you see yourself moving out of the city if slash when you want to start a family? Well, <laughs> I said that this is actually one of my most asked questions. I do get DMs about this a lot and just questions about it a lot. And my answer is essentially that it's hard to put this in a short, short terms, but that you guys know I love the city. I would love to stay here forever, a la Gossip Girl. Um, but I also do like the idea of having a backyard and having more space and it just kind of comes down to if we do want to start a family realistically, can we afford to live in the city, you know, paying for school and paying for space in the city, it's, it's a lot. So we'll see where life takes us, but I am open to both. How did you know Lyle was the one? When you know, you know. How long does it take you to get ready when you go out to a fancy party or a night out? An hour and a half to two hours. Hi, plans for the summer, favorite French clothing brands. I'm going to France in August, Paris and the south of France, 
And favorite French clothing brands are Rouge, Cezanne, and Bash Paris. How many bridesmaids will you have? Um, I put that I would share this as soon as I get a chance to talk to them first and then I will <laughs> share. What advice would you give to anyone moving to New York City? Save up. <laughs> How would you describe your bridal style? Um, romantic and classic. Will you be wearing multiple dresses on your wedding day? For the ceremony and reception, just one dress because I I can't imagine, I hope that I love my dress that much that I don't want to take it off and I can't imagine finding the most perfect gown and only wearing it for, you know, the 30 minute ceremony and then like, you know, the pictures afterwards and then changing into something else. But, um, so I think I'm going to have one gown for basically the whole wedding and then maybe like a cute little short gown for the after party, but I'll also have so many other dress inspo to share with you guys for like if we do a rehearsal dinner, um, for like bachelorette, uh, bridal shower, like dress, there'll be, so, there'll be so much. How tall are you for reference to clothing recs that you share? Love your style. I'm 5'7". Favorite recipe and then please share. So I said that this question is probably referring to like an actual meal, like a dinner or a lunch. But honestly, my favorite recipe is this cookie recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction. And I love these cookies because you can use like cookie cutters with them so you can kind of change it for every season or every holiday and do different frosting colors and it's just I they are so delicious what is on your wish list this summer to buy or do I want to spend more time at the beach this summer I want to just spend more time outside in general especially living in New York the summers just don't really feel like summers because you don't really get to spend as much time in nature which to me growing up that's what summer was all about being in the water, being outside. I'm going to visiting some beach clubs in the south of France next month when I go with Kendall and Jess in August. How did you and Lyle meet? We met in 2016 at a bar in the city. Your dream wedding shoes. I put two examples, my uh, these Jimmy Choo ones I have my eye on and the classic blue, something blue Manolo Blahnik shoes. Are you going to be sharing any part of your wedding? Definitely. I'm currently looking for a videographer that will be able to, that I'll be able to use clips from for my YouTube videos because I want to, yeah, I want to share everything. Are you getting a dog? Someday, I can't wait for that day, but it's not the time right now, but in the future, definitely I'm such a dog person. I grew up with two golden retrievers and I just love dogs. I'm missing have a dog. I miss having a dog around, but it definitely needs to be the right time. How do you feel about tech layoffs this year and bulletproof your career? Um, I, I've been laid off before, so I'm not, so I know what to expect and I'm not as scared of it as I was before, but definitely my advice would be to look for the signs and as always we should be doing anyways even if we're not worried about layoffs is always networking that we're connecting with other people finding other jobs so that if something you know god forbid does happen that um you kind of know where your next move will be uh <laughs> yeah you are an inspiration i said oh, i love you guys um can you do more wedding related youtube videos would love to see the whole planning i'm so happy to hear that you guys want to see wedding planning videos i got most oh, so many of these questions are related to wedding planning i didn't know that you guys were so interested i wasn't really sure if you wanted me to just stick with the huge the usual um you know status quo or if you want me to get into that um so yeah i will try to share more definitely when is the big day may 2024 Love your style. Could you do more styling fits for the summer in New York City? Yes, definitely. I will continue to share all the New York City summer outfit inspo. What is your designer wish list? I have done a YouTube video on this before, so I will link that. Food and TV guilty pleasures. By the way, love your videos. Um, so my, my food and TV guilty pleasures are buttered popcorn, ice cream, and then the shows, and just like that, Outlander, Emily in Paris, and Bridgerton. I love all of those. How did you get into marketing? So marketing was my minor in college, journalism was my major, and when I decided that I wanted to move to New York City, there were so many more jobs available in marketing than journalism, for obvious reasons. Are you planning any beauty treatments and facials prior to the wedding, and what would those be? I think maybe I will. Um, what I've always read is that you shouldn't really try to change up your routine when you get close to the wedding. Like if you do something totally different, you might kind of throw things off and get like a pimple or something and it's better to just 
stick to your routine don't make any you know drastic changes in your skincare I'm sure that there are some facials and treatments that you could start doing like a year out so i'll share that with you guys if i do end up doing that but as you know already from earlier in the vlog i did book a personal trainer so i am working on my body um for the wedding do you speak french uh, i was taking classes but i stopped just due to time and all of my commitments that i have going on but i really would love to learn the language that is a goal of mine in my lifetime is to be able to fully speak another language i think that that would be so cool how are you liking engaged life i love it will you be filming your europe trip of course course I will I always do those are some of my favorite vlogs to look back on and I know you guys always love them too um like when I was in Rome last year ugh, my heart just I feel so I don't know so heart warmed and just like uh, lovely happy little butterfly memories in my head every time I think of that trip and my Paris trips I love rewatching those vlogs so I will of course be documenting it do you miss do you miss your old apartment yes my oh of course that apartment will always have a place in my heart um i but you know i am so happy living with lyle though i really love this apartment too i love having more space and i feel like my setup is so similar to my old apartment too like especially in this room here um and it's just more comfortable here like having a doorman um having an elevator in the building you know my old apartment was a walk up and um, no doorman, you know, I walked up five flights of stairs every single day. It got really hot both in the summer and winter. There was no like air temperature control in there and obviously I left living with Lyle. So while well, that living in that apartment was such a special time in my life and you know, it will always, there will always be a place in my heart for that. Um, I am so happy where I am now as well. Are you happy with your hair? Do you find it easy to wash in style? It looks so pretty and natural. Thank you. I am happy with it. I love it. It's going to be really hard for me to go back to my normal hair when I do have to get the extensions out because you can only keep them in for a few months at a time. Styling it is a lot harder. I used to be able to blow dry my hair in five minutes, curl it in five minutes, done out the door. Now I have to dedicate 30 minutes to blow dry it or more and then plus another 15 minutes if I want to curl it or anything else. So it's like a 45 minute commitment every time I wash my hair. Um, so that's something I have had to get used to but I do love it so far. And you guys' compliments have been so sweet. Um, especially since you know that it's uh, something that I'm a little bit more <laughs> I guess, sensitive about. So. I really appreciate you guys being so kind with the comments. Every time I read those, it just warms my heart, so thank you. Um, what is your favorite designer of brand, of brand clothing? How often do you buy clothes? My favorite, I would say Love Shack Fancy, favorite designer at the moment. And I buy clothes about every one to two weeks, just so that I am, you know, doing what I do. <laughs> it's uh, always want to be showing you guys new styles. Um, and new things so yeah I I feel like I shop more often than the average consumer just because of being on YouTube yeah and that's everything that I've answered so far I there are more questions coming in um, but I will continue to answer those on my Instagram stories but I did just want to quickly share um, some things with you guys on here um, so yeah right now I'm basically just doing some um, like wedding more wedding planning stuff right now i'm booking some more um, i'm trying to book another bridal appointment for next weekend because my mom's coming all the way down so i want to try to make sure that i see as much as possible when she's here so that she's not coming all the way down just to go to one appointment with me you know um so i've reached out to three different places hopefully i can get another appointment and um lyle and i are also working on the save the dates so we're trying to gather everyone's address we're going to contact everyone for their mailing addresses and we need to put together the design get everything printed blah 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 so i'm figuring all of that today that is my homework um lyle is very 
on top of things and so I need to be <laughs> and I like to procrastinate because I like to make sure that I'm making the perfect decision but he's right we do need to get these out so that has been my homework for the day today is figure out those save the dates um, and we have a really really cute idea um, so so anyways yeah I'm, I'm just doing all the wedding planning and just getting stuff done around the house Alright guys, so it's the end of the night now. I just had dinner with Lyle and I'm not doing too much more <laughs> at this point, but it's been a really fun weekend and really hope that you enjoyed watching the vlog. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye.